Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. If you're a big user of the desktop, a lot of you are, probably the majority of you are users of the desktop most of the time. You notice that the desktop has icons on the bottom right. So for example, when you are looking at your uh, taskbar at the bottom of your desktop app, you'll notice that on the right side, you've got, for example, a con volume control, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got the battery, you've got many other icons. There's always a little uh, notification show hidden icons, the little arrow here. And you see that these are all the notification icons that I have in the taskbar from different uh, apps in my computer. So uh, Toshiba PC Health Monitor, Log Me In, uh, Team Viewer. I've got a lot of stuff here. Now you can manage those and uh, remove what you don't want because one of the biggest problems here is that these notifications, a lot of them you don't actually use. And some of them you might want, but you don't want to have the annoying messages that it pops up all the time. So you can actually go around and change the options of what icon is going to be on the taskbar and what type of information is going to give you. So all you have to do is go into the bottom left, click that little Windows uh, Start button with, uh, you just right click on it, don't just click on it, right click on it, and there click into Control Panel. If you can't find it here, go into your charms bar on the right side of your screen, click the search and just type control panel and click on the control panel option. Now you might have what we call categories, which will look like this. I suggest that you go on the upper right side and I view by change it to large icons so that you can follow us. Uh, if you like the categories, you can go back and change it later. There you will see and the alphabetical order list, one called notification area icons. You'll click there and you'll see all the icons that are presently being shown there and what you can do to change. So for example, I wanna have power, I wanna have network, I wanna have volume. I don't care about the Toshiba PC health monitor so I can just click the little uh, slider on the right side and here you can say hide icon and not notifications and that's what I'll do. It means that it's now going to be hidden from my taskbar. Uh, touchpad enhancements, I don't want to have the notifications in icon. Service station, I don't want that also. Hide. Log me in app, um, I don't use it generally by the taskbar, so I'll hide icon and notifications and just pull it up when I want it. Uh, you'll have other info. For example, the action center is often a very, uh, very annoying little thing because it often pops up messages that aren't always uh, useful to the user. So I'll also hide icon and notifications. So just click whatever icon you don't want to have any notifications from. And once you have done this, all you have to do is go on the bottom right and click OK. As soon as you've done that, if you click on your taskbar, you'll see that the icons, a lot of them are still there. Why? Because you often have to restart the computer to actually remove these. So uh, re restart your computer and you'll notice that all of the notifications in your taskbar, a lot of them are going to be gone as soon as you will restart the computer. So there won't be any icons. And uh, you have at the bottom left, something called turn system icons on or off that you can click. And here you can tell it what type of icons that you want or not. For example, the action center, I want it off. I don't really use that. For the rest, I'll keep it on. And so there's also that type of icon check that you can uh, go through. But as soon as you restart, you'll see that these icons are going to be missing from your taskbar when you are um, selecting icons and notifications. So that's how you kind of clean up. 
there are exceptions to the rule. I've noticed that some icons or some programs actually never want you to be able to disable them. So if you just click ID icon in notifications, it might actually still be there at startup. That can happen on some apps, but most of these icons will be removed after a computer restart. So that's how you basically just go around and uh, clean up that taskbar on the bottom right of your screen and have less notifications. Um, you know, a lot of these icons you just don't use, so you don't want to uh, actually have these. Uh, but, you know, j just keep the ones that you want. I uh, basically want to know volume, Wi-Fi, and um, my power of my battery. These are important to me, but the rest isn't really important. And you can go back and click the programs if you want to start and, um, or, or, or see the status of what they are doing. So that's basically what you do to remove and change the notifications. Of course, you can keep the icons and just keep uh, keep it quiet. Say, well, I want to have the icon, but I don't want to have notifications, which means that you'll see it there, but it won't bother you with any information. So if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a new Windows 8 machine. You've got something you'd like us to make a video of. Why not ask us and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.